Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today we're going to be looking at this interesting dot matrix type of uh, Bluetooth smartwatch. It goes, <coughs> excuse me, it goes under multiple names, a multitude of names. And interestingly enough, this one has a, uh, a heart monitor. Leather well, band, you can get different kinds of bands with this, but this is the one that I chose. I'm pretty sure this will work with the flip. Yep. Yeah, and uh, to get more stats, you just tap, get your steps, your kilometers. Oh, this is the one. As soon, when, once you get this on, then that thing kicks in. Then that thing kicks in. Now, one thing I got to say is if you don't have this, if you're not using this, let's see if it'll take steps or beats per second. Um, actually, I think it's best if I use it on my finger there. So, um... Should start picking up soon okay it looks like I had to get a really good spot so I put it on the veins over my wrist and wait <clears throat> about four minutes recently in IT I'm in IT uh, I've been giving up on things and they started to work and that seems to be the case in this situation so yeah you get your beats per beats beat BMP I guess that's your beats per minute something like that and um okay I, i'm gonna act like i know the, the rest of this stuff yeah bl bl blood and water yeah exactly 99 percent hydrated they can tell if you're 99 percent hydrated yeah yeah i guess that's uh I was trying to tell my my blood pressure over there i i wouldn't think that something like this could tell your blood pressure for the money that you pay for it but it is kind of interesting it's uh it's definitely very interesting to have that information right there in front of you so this kind of thing if you were exercising you would activate this you'd switch over to this and then it would start reading but it isn't a passive thing so if i stop uh using this if if i stop using this if i uh press a button i believe i can't come back to it so that tells me how long i slept for uh the temperature power off reset a little bit of uh, information there steps once again how long I've walked with it. Haven't taken around a whole lot today, but as you see, it's reset itself. <clears throat> so if you're doing a workout, then hey, this is this is uh, this is all right for you. This is definitely great. This is definitely great. But uh, in order to get this to work, you need to use the app, and the app is right here. Actually, let me find that for you. It's Fun Do. Fun Do. Fun times with fun do, and you can actually get a relatively high amount of information with this. If I was actually using this today, I'd have a lot more analytics. I'd have uh, a lot more going on here, but I didn't, so I don't. I did the other day. I did the other day. Now, getting into this watch again. Let's see if. No, no. No twist. Oh, there we go. There we go. So yeah, just a little tap at the bottom. We'll switch you over to the next thing. And the fact that it's a dot matrix is just so cool. I geek out when I see stuff like this, especially when they kind of bring it back to retro. And the battery life on this is phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Especially if I'm not using the... Uh, <clears throat> if I'm not using that heartbeat monitor, since this thing just hardly uses any batteries at all. Man, I, I, I pretty much forgot about this thing for about two weeks. I came back to it. The batteries were at about half, which is really cool. This definitely looks kind of like a, a knockoff cheap version of the Pebble. But man, I am super satisfied. I think I paid 40 bucks for this. Probably by the time I get this video out, it'll be down to like 20 bucks. But yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the heartbeat monitor is not activated. But if I cycle through, once I get to... And that one section the heartbeat monitor activates so it's not on all the time like a fitbit might be but it still is a very cool uh piece of equipment all right so here's the charger and it pretty much clips in there like like that you got to be real careful because it can wiggle out really easily there's nothing to lock it in it flops off really 
Now it should definitely be said that you can get your texts uh, directly to this unit and there's a lot of space for it and it looks very nice. I'm just uh, kind of hesitant to send a text to it to show you what it looks like because it also shows you the phone number. I don't want any of you creepy guys out there uh, getting my phone number. I have enough creepy men calling me right now. You know who you are. But yeah, again, there's a lot of space. You can probably see the whole text even if it's an unreasonably long one on this. Uh, I definitely think it's cool. Honestly, overall, it's definitely worth the money, about $40. But the only bad part about it, again, is the charger. The charger on the side takes a... You, gotta, you just gotta be so careful that you got it good and you kinda gotta, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. Other than that, it's pretty good. I can see this being waterproof and I believe I'm going to have a very difficult time uh, getting through the gasket on here. But only one way to find Unfortunately, it looks like I already put a crack in this thing. I'm trying to be, I was trying to be super careful, but now that I've already got a crack in it, I'm not going to worry about it quite so much. If I was a more intelligent person, what I would have done is warmed, uh, warmed this thing up with a heat gun first. I'm surprised that so much is still working. All right, so I very unceremoniously got the glass off. You can see the, uh, the white glue or gasketing there. Again, if I just would have used something hotter, some a hotter gun, I could have got it on relatively easily. Where is that? There. I can still get it to turn on and to move, interestingly enough. So I guess it wasn't exactly touch screen. Let's see what's under this plastic piece. I have a feeling I'm going to destroy it while doing this, so I'm just going to record the whole motion. I don't get what that is. Definitely do not get what that is. Wonder how do I take that? Okay, so yeah, that's just held in there. A little bit of glue on the back, and then it looks like it's soldered directly to the board. Get this out as nicely as I can. Yeah, it's just stuck. It's just soldered to the board. So I'll take that out. A close look at this as close as possible. Let's see what I can get. Good view on this stuff for you. I'll get a screwdriver out and see if I can get those in. All right, got three screws out. There was one hiding right up here too. So I'm just gonna wonder if I have to pop that out or just pull it up. No, it looks like it's just a pull out, not a pop up. Okay. Yeah, it just pops out. And then this, it's gonna pop right out too. Oh, let's give it a tug. I'm not expecting to be using this thing again. One sec, I'll have a look at uh, the battery capacity, but first, let's have a look at the chip. Let me turn that over. Let me take this off. There we go. Actually, let me take this thing off from the bottom uh, left. Oh, wait, there's nothing there for you to... Oh, yeah, this there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. That's about all there is for the chip. Ground, ground. Yeah, it's just two grounds over there. And then we might have seen everything we had to see over here already. If you got any questions about any of uh, these chips, if you can't read any of them, let me know and I'll I'll post it in the comments. I'll save this. But I think I think I got most of the chips. I think you can read. Okay, I'm going to read this one off to you. That one in the top left. Wait, no, I'm not. That's unbelievably small. Yeah, I can't even see it with my own eye. I'm going to have to get the magnifying glass out later. If you guys want that, let me know. And now I'm going to try to get that battery out without destroying the universe. 
Oh, I flipped it over and look what we got. Damn, that's small. That's like almost nothing. And I don't, I'm try, trying to see if it'll tell me anything about the battery. I'm not seeing anything. All right, so there's nothing on the battery. I, I scraped it, looked for anything I could. Interesting, we got two chips on there, not just one. I wonder if that's double protection. And then I noticed we have a code right there too. I have to apologize if you can hear my daughter screaming in the other room. It's bedtime and she's just not having it. Other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. That's it for me. I am Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. All kinds of fun here. I love taking these watches apart. Uh, good times for the whole family. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.